The Navy will soon determine the fate of ousted Captain Brett Crozier after his calls for action led to his firing. One America's Tyler Toy has more details. The fate of the former commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt now lies in the hands of the Navy's top admiral. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Gilday will review Captain Brett Crozier's dismissal after the captain sent an email raising concerns over coronavirus and the safety of his sailors. Gilday's review won't be limited to Crozier and will additionally look at the command climate on board the warship and higher up within the Pacific Base fleet. The review will also determine if there are broader leadership problems in such a critical region. The Navy's top admiral says all options are on the table, adding he is not ruling out reinstating Crozier. Top military officials have made similar sentiments concerning the situation. Defense Secretary Mark Esper stated he is also open to Crozier's return to service. This as shocking new details have emerged since Crozier's firing, revealing the now famous memo was actually sent to fewer people than the Navy previously stated. According to a report by the Washington Post, the email from Captain Crozier was sent only to three admirals and copied to seven other captains. This contradicts former acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley's assertion that it had been sent to 20 or 30 people, justifying his decision to relieve Crozier of his command on the warship. On Sunday night, he sent that email. And that email went out to a broad audience of people. I know that I mentioned that it was over 20. We believe it was forwarded to even far more than that. Modley has since stepped down after coming under fire for criticizing Crozier's actions as too stupid or too naive. Meantime, the president has also considered looking into the matter, calling Crozier an outstanding military official who may have had a bad day. He knows it better than anybody in this room what he should have done, and I'm sure he feels he made a mistake. But I'm going to look into it, and I'm going to see maybe we can do something, because I'm not looking to destroy a person's life who's had an otherwise stellar career, as I understand. However, it is Admiral Gilday who will have the final say as the nation looks on. Holly Latoy, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.